What's up, nerds? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got one, two, maybe three unboxings in one for you. Uh, we've got a box from a subscriber that I'm excited for. It's got lots of mystery treats in it. We've got a box from, well, rather a paper bag from a local store. We've got to support local. It's this store right here. And I've got a limited release from Mule Fishing that we can take a look at as well. So all sorts of stuff to unbox today. Thank you for joining me on the channel. As always, if you like the content, like and subscribe. Let's get right into this stuff, shall we? So I think I'll start with the local find, right? So again, brown paper bag. That is how you know it's from a great local store. Little tiny mom and pop shops dot the entire landscape of our country and you guys should be shopping at them. Always support local whenever you can. Yes, there are gigantic online stores and they have lots of variety and stuff and sometimes better pricing. And at the same time, you could support your local tackle distributor and sometimes come across some unique finds. And I think we have a few of those today. So let's get into them. Okay, so there's a couple of basic things off the top. I just saw things I liked at this store. I was like, I was gonna buy these anyways. I might as well get them from the local guy. The local store that I'm talking about right here is Somerset Outdoors. Literally along a barren highway where there's basically nothing else, this store exists. And I drive by it all the time. And I was like, you know what? I gotta go in there. So first off, they have this out front. It's a fishing vending machine, which is cool. You don't see those too often. So I was like, all right, that's unique. Let's walk in and see what we see. Inside, I found that they had a lot of big name brands. They were carrying Six Cents. They, of course, had like Missile Baits, your Berkeleys, your Strike Kings, blah, blah, blah. They had all that stuff. They had stuff ranging from like ice fishing to uh, walleye to bass fishing. They had live bait. They carried the brand Toadfish and they had all of their like little special, I don't know if it's like a suction cup or a magnetic cup holder that they use. They also had their rods. It's like a four piece casting and spinning setup. All sorts of different really cool stuff. And of course, they had neat hats. So I had to pick up one of those as well. So let's look at some of the baits that I picked up. First off, I've been loving these things. If you guys aren't picking these up, the Rage Swimmer, it's just a great paddle tail. And this specifically, the 2.75 inch has been awesome. So if you're throwing BFS or even just, you know, light little jig heads that you could throw on your normal casting or spinning setups, these are great. It's also a great trailer on the Z-Man chatterbaits, especially the Mini Max. So I got Green Pumpkin Pearl for the color. It gives off that awesome natural presentation. And I don't know about you guys, but fish around here absolutely love this color. I can fish at any lake I want. Seems to get bites. Next up, I opted to grab some hooks. Somebody watched the poop video, the gravity baits, if you're unaware, and suggested that we try a screw lock. So what I did is I went ahead and grabbed these extra wide gap screw locks from VMC. Uh, these are heavy duty. They're ideally for swim baits, but I'm gonna try them with the old poop baits and just see if this does any better for us. So we picked these up at a four aught, being that the four aught was the standard go-to size for the EWG hooks we were using with the poop baits anyways. Hopefully it works out for me. The other hooks I picked up are these, Gamakatsu size one offset worm hooks. I grabbed these for BFS specifically so that I could use them with the jack worm from Mule Fishing. I wanna give that a shot. I would have gone size two, a little bit smaller if I could, they just didn't have them. One of the things you run into, especially with the smaller shops, is that you're not gonna have necessarily that big wide variety selection. I just thought it was cool that they even had this semi ultralight offering for their offset worm hooks. So that was a go for me for sure. Then I had to pick up a couple of staples, things that I'm using regularly. So we've got the Z-Man Sling Blades. If you guys haven't heard us say it before, I'll say it again. This is one of our favorite spinner baits. Good quality for $7.99, anywhere that you grab them. And this bluegill color just dominates up here. Again, I'm in Michigan, so Midwest variations, this is a great option. This or like any sort of bait fish pattern anywhere you go. If it's a local forage, you'll probably do well. Uh, I opted for getting the double Colorados. They had the double willow and I was just like, you know what? I don't have any of these in the double Colorado blade, so I'm gonna go for that. Why not? Also grabbed uh, another jerk bait, one that I actually think I'll take down to uh, our Alabama tournament. If you guys don't know, we got the Knucklehead Bass Series wrapping up this November. So I'll be down in Alabama on Lake Gunnersville. I was like, all right, let's go for a good all around. They didn't have, you know, really like any of the, the typical shad patterns that I'd want to be fishing down south because 
it's a store in Michigan. Why would they carry that? So I just grabbed a gold shiner and I mean, you know what? It might work. Um, we'll give her, we'll give her a go, but this is the Berkeley Stunna. These are pretty solid jerk baits. They do come with a price tag. So these are $14 and 99 cents anywhere you get them, unless they're on sale. Uh, they ain't cheap, but they're also not mega bass expensive at $24.99, so it ain't bad. Considering the quality build that these have and the action that you get out of them and the fact that they straight up get bites, I think it's worth it. These are always a good quality build. We got those Berkley Fusion hooks, which ain't bad at all. They're well designed for this size bait. It's a half an ounce, slow sinking, kind of a little subtle knock to it as well. Uh, and that could even just be the, yeah, that's for casting. So very subtle on the sound and you get that added casting weight. So you can cast these things a gosh dang mile. But the Stunna's are fantastic. If you guys haven't thrown these yet, highly recommend picking one up and giving it a shot. Then we got the old Scum Frog, the cheap boy. So this Scum Frog is the one that's $4.99. It comes with your non-generic skirt. And this one actually comes with, uh, my other one didn't come with this. This one comes with a stinger hook, which is interesting. Check out this little stinger hook situation we got there. So that's cool. And that is something that you can thread on. Oop. I almost guarantee you I'm not going to use this. You like push the hollow body up, you thread that sucker on, and then you thread the body back over it. That would make the most sense. And what that does is it gives you now that center stinger hook there. Uh, you might get snagged a little bit more, but not too bad considering it's pretty flush with the body of the bait there. Not sure I'm going to use it. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I just will take this immediately off after this unboxing. But this little guy will catch you an absolute 100,000 bajillion fish. Uh, these things are awesome. I've got one in just basic old green pumpkin. So I figured why not? I'm going to grab this one in white and pink. Get this trailer hook out of my life. I don't want it. Cool idea, but I don't want it. Okay, and just like that, we're back to a regular old scummy frog. Super cheap frog, $4.99, very durable, very plush. Hookup ratio is amazing. You don't have to do anything to these hooks. They will just straight up catch fish. Uh, these will, these, these are durable. They hold up for a long time. The skirt's nice. It kind of lays flat on the water and has good drawing power with your fish. You will catch a million fish with these. I guarantee you, go pick some up. And that brings me to another point with these local shops. Something that's really cool is typically whatever they're carrying is stuff that they know people catch on. They've got limited inventory, so they have to stock the stuff they know is gonna move. And the stuff that moves is usually the stuff that people catch on. So it's kind of cool, especially if you've got like a local pro or a local stick there who is absolutely just hammering them. They're ordering what they know will work. So that's always kind of cool to be able to see from somebody else's perspective what they like to order, what they like to fish with and what they know catches fish. And if it's stuff that's not in your tackle box, you pick it up and you try it. And that's what I did in the case of a couple of these things, like this. This is the Magic Man Micro. It's a little lipless bait from 13 Fishing. Now I've fished the regular size Magic Man. It's a solid lipless. This one comes in an itty bitty size, $7.99. Eek, a little up there on the price price point. Uh, this is something that I saw initially as like, okay, sure, I could use this for ice fishing and I probably will. And I could throw this on BFS. This is actually a good BFS size. Ooh, baby boy, look at this thing. Coming in what they call cosmic perch, so a little flashy perch pattern. Um, I know this is gonna hammer if we get a good ice season this year. And I know that I can catch on BFS with this. So I am stoked for that little guy right there. One more really cool thing that I found there was this, look at that, Missile Baits X Robo Worm, little combo deal they did on what they're calling the six inch magic worm. Now, never used this, actually never really saw any of the hype on this, but I know that it's been hyped up. Check this out, awesome little trick worm. It's got a flat side to it right there, as you can see. Oh my gosh. This is obviously morning dawn, but you get the purple on the inside of the body there. So really cool design. Super salty on that flat side as well. And rib body design all the way through, tapered tail at the end. I can see a lot of different ways to use this thing um, other than just a shaky head. For one, off the top of my head, you've got weightless and power shotting is gonna be another way I'm gonna use it. I'm taking this down to Alabama and I'm gonna see if I can score on this thing. 14 quantity for $10.99. At first I was like 11 bucks for a pack of plastics, that's too much. And then I saw that you get 14 in it. So that's kind of neat. I'm excited to use it. Okay, and then sometimes you find unique, weird stuff at these stores. And that's the case with these two things. 
So if you guys haven't seen, I'll start with this one. If you haven't seen something like this before, these are pre-rigged worms. They're usually super cheap. This one was $2.49. Uh, sometimes you can get them like 99 cents. And this is from k and &E Stopper Lures, uh, the absolute classic oh, economic option. Look at this. It has a little spot on the side there to open up. That's interesting. It hangs like this, opens on the side. And they usually come pre-rigged. Notice I went green pumpkin chartreuse. That's what's up. Actually, this is more like a black chartreuse. Comes pre-rigged, little tiny focus on it, little tiny hooks in there. And the ones I'm familiar with, usually a lot bigger than this one. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's cool. It's like a little micro version, a little ultralight version of that. Of course, I want to try that thing out. It's already got line attached to it with a little loop at the end. And you just tie that loop to your main line or a swivel or a snap or whatever, and you're good. This is like an ultra classic way of fishing. Uh, if you wanted to do super cheap fishing challenges, you're gonna see these a lot, especially in purple, but I wanted to grab like a chartreuse color. So we'll have to, we'll have to figure out something with that one that we can do. And we're gonna have to figure out something with this bad boy right here. Uh, this was just one of those things I saw and I was like, well, of course. I mean, of course I have to get this. So this is from Snag Proof. And Snag Proof also makes, the only reason I didn't buy it is because it looked absolutely terrible, but they also make a Gunnersville frog. And I was like, man, if I don't show up with this frog, is that bad? <laughs> like, but I, I couldn't bring myself to buy it. Uh, these weren't cheap too, they were like eight bucks, but check this out. Never seen anything like this before. It's kind of froggy, kind of snaky, kind of wormy. It's actually stiff, look at that, I won't even move. Like, pretty stiff, hollow throughout. Big hollow bulbous section right here. Little finesse frog hook to it. Big head section, and then it's got, I mean, this is a frog, like an elongated frog hook situation here. So we got that little line tie like you would see on a normal frog. It's in black with silver flake. Holy cow, is this like one of the weirdest lures I've ever seen. So it's called the, the Original Deadly Worm. And it says on the back here for tips, fish it slow. Slower is better. I am gonna have this in Gunnersville. I don't predict that it's gonna do well, but maybe Friday pre-fishing, I might try it. Why not? Why the heck not? And if it produces, I'll use it the next day and I'll have like a secret weapon nobody else has. So that's cool. And of course, like I said, I grabbed the hat. So once again, if you guys have a local shop near you, make sure you're supporting those local business owners. They need you, they really do. And it means a lot whenever you support them. And on the same note, we love supporting small bait companies, small bait makers, businesses like Mule Fishing, for example. So Mule Fishing is owned by Ethan Duvetter, otherwise known as Fish Anything. Uh, and he makes all this stuff himself. He's coming up with all these designs. He's trying to create unique ultralight finesse application stuff that has high value and he's absolutely crushing it. We've been fishing this stuff for years and we will support him until the day we die probably. <laughs> so use our link in the description if you guys wanna pick some of these up. He's got a limited drop right now on some jig colors that you're not gonna see anywhere else. I've got these in every weight. There's a lot of different weights here that I'm gonna be sharing with Paul. So we're gonna be fishing these. So I'll show you the 116 ounce. Look at this, we got this baby blue Specifically, it's gonna be on there as light blue. So if you're looking for it on the website. If you wanna try something different and unique, you're gonna to need to pick these up because they will go out of stock and they will go out of stock quickly. So pick them up, man. Last couple of years, he's done a limited drop on purple. And uh, that color, by the way, one of my favorite ones to use. Catches a lot of fish. This one, I could say is a color I do not use often at all, but I am excited to try. Look at that. These are really well painted, really well made jigs. They're durable, they hold up. You're not losing fish on these things. They're just great. So if you want a nice ultralight jig, consider going and picking these up. As again, I've mentioned, they are a limited run and they go all the way down to 180th ounce. Look at that, these are the 180s in light blue. So you've got everywhere from 332 down to 180. Awesome jigs, excited for my boy Ethan. Go support him if you can. We all appreciate it. All right, lastly, this literally showed up on my doorstep today. This is a box from our buddy, B. Dooley. Uh, B. Dooley has been with us on the channel, supporting the channel forever. Uh, he's the one that helped us get into the, the Garmin forward-facing sonar setups that we have. We wouldn't have done it without his help. So we really appreciate that dude. And he sent us a whole bunch of goodies and I have no idea what's in here. So let's find out. Well. Right off the top is a big old fancy, oh, I didn't even know it till now. <laughs> 
Yo, I literally, I pulled out this side from the box and I held it up to you guys. And that is when I noticed the logo, bro. What? Get the heck out of town. So we got a custom Yeti with aggressively average angler on it. And it matches my I'm a frog shirt. You gotta be kidding me. It's a gosh dang Halloween cup. Well, if there was only one in here, it's mine. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there's not only one. Oh, it's one of those straw dudes. So that's awesome. Get out of town, B. Dooley, you, you gosh dang awesome human being. You know we're just gonna send you a whole bunch of stuff back now. But wait, oh, I, I see what that is. I can't show you that yet. Hang on. I wanted to make sure. Oh yeah, dude. There's a black one in there too. Are you kidding me? Oh man, we're gonna have to fight over these two. So this one's actually an Ozark trail. Oh, dude, the slide on the Ozark is a beast. That's a freaking beast. Neato gang, what an absolute awesome human being. I, I freaking thank you, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then look at that. <laughs> Orange is the color theme today. Um, in this case, Holy cow, we, we got a big old knife. This, oh, it's like a fishing survival knife. Oh, that's freaking cool, dude, from Cutco. Look at this, it's got all these little features on it. So we have a line cutter right there, right? It's actually the blade of the knife sticking out so you can just cut your line right there. We have, here we go, a little fillet knife, okay. I'm digging it. Oh, I see. Okay, so you can do that with the knife in. Fish lipper. <laughs> that is an aggressively average fish lipper. Look at this thing. So I gotta I got hold the snaps out of the way, but then I can just pinch them, just get them. You can snap it in place and hold them on there. And then we got a hook sharpener right there. A little groove in there for your hooks. That is really cool, man. The freshwater solution. <laughs> That's so cool. Everything in this unboxing to orange. Oh no, bro. Oh no, bro. Oh, uh, I may have sent him these in the past, but there we go. This is the Super K walkabout. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this topwater lure before, it is one that we've gotten in uh, the Monster Bass box. So, oh, look at this one. It's got a line on it. So he's definitely used it. Or, I, dude, be duly, let me know in the comments below, did I send you any of these? Because I know I sent a bunch of these out to folks. It's not a bad walking bait by any means. It'll, it'll get the job done. It's in this holographic bluegill or perch pattern. Uh, so it's matching that local forage for us. Hooks are appropriately sized. You got a nice dress treble off the back there. Uh, Super K Jigs is a jig company. So it was surprising when they came out with this top water, but it definitely do work. And it comes in at one third of an ounce three and a half inches, a little big for BFS, but I, I might throw it on my bigger BFS setup. I mean, it, it's like a pretty small light top water. And then to, to match up to that, if we're going bluegill patterns, I'm assuming Dooley just doesn't like all the bluegill patterns, but <laughs> we got the Monster Bass Patriot 2.0, uh, very similar, a little bit bigger, no dressed treble off the back. That only came in on the Monster Bass Patriot 3.0. Uh, but all around, a bunch of topwater walking bait, stuff that we could be throwing right now. We're at the tail end of it. This is like our last chance if we want to catch on topwater. We need to be doing that. Down in uh, Gunnersville, on Lake Gunnersville, we got a shot at some topwater. Maybe on a buzz bait. It might have to be a buzz bait. We'll see. And this last thing that I get to show you guys is probably the coolest. I can't believe that he went ahead and he made these. We talked about this on our podcast, so... If you're not subscribed to our podcast, go ahead and get subscribed. And join us for one, 8.15 p.m. Eastern every Wednesday. We go live, Paul, myself, and all of our favorite nerds, and we have an absolute blast. And one of the things that came out of one of those lives was the idea of an ultralight A-rig, what we were calling the triple A-rig. And he's got four in here for me with various different colors. It looks like he used heat shrink at the top and a bunch of wire... And I, I think potentially this could work. Look at this thing. So we got a little baby chandelier. Finesse jigs off the back here. These would be, I, I'm guessing, like 1 32nd of an ounce uh, around. Pretty light looking jigs. They've got a blade on each of them. So this gives you that flash. So as you're retrieving it, these jigs should lay flat just like that. And you should get the spin of that blade as well. So that's, oh man, such a good idea, dude. And I, I feel like well implemented. He obviously took all this wire, wrapped it up, the issue I found is like what to do with all that wrapping. We were looking to like mold it in 
Uh, we even got some stuff from do it molds. We just haven't been able to like piece this together because we don't have a lead smelter or lead ingots. So we still have to get a whole new setup, but eventually we might try it. And at the same time, this idea might just be all you need. Look at that. And he did it in a couple different colors here. Look at that, we got one in blue. Okay, it's super simple presentation. On these two, you're just gonna have to make sure you add a swivel. So we got five wire, right? So one, two, three, four, and then your center wire. You're gonna have to add a swivel to that, each one of these, and then just attach your jig and that's where all your weight's gonna come from. Uh, all in all, like this initial weight feels like nothing. I'd have to put it on a scale to see where it's at. Super light, and then here's one without the jigs but with all the swivels and snaps on there. Really cool, my man. Yo, this one, it looks like it's even got some copper in there. Awesome, so a little ultralight BFS A rig coming your way. You better believe we're fishing this thing. I'm gonna have to throw some mule fishing donkey tail juniors on these, and we're gonna have a blast. It won't work if I take that to Alabama. I'm looking for bigs, but it could work. They could eat the whole thing though. That'd be terrible. I probably shouldn't. I'm gonna fish it up here. I think now is the right time. We're going fishing on Sunday. I'm gonna take this one and we'll take this one. And then we'll rig it up with some jigs and some donkey tail juniors and we'll see what we can do. There we go, okay. That was a really fun unboxing. Hopefully you guys liked it as well. If you did, like I said, please like, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate you guys for watching the video today. And as I said, support small business, support local, and have cool friends that send you cool stuff. Thank you guys so much for being here today. We'll catch you on the next video. I'm out.